Super Saiyans, it is Thursday, January 21st, 2021, which can only mean one thing. Vicious Rejuvenation comes out tomorrow. Now, through the grace of Goku, Gohan, Goten, and the very fine folks at MVP Sports and more, I've gotten my, uh, I've gotten my package a little bit early. And so this has six booster boxes, a premium pack, and a starter deck. We're just going to do the starter deck and the premium pack here. We're going to leave the booster boxes for their own videos since they take a while. Uh, but I will release them at the same time. And in fact, there should be a little, through the magic of YouTube, a little link right about here? Right about now? No? No? Now. is now. It's now. It's now. But let's just get started. Um, I'm very excited for this set. I haven't, I didn't finish all the card spoilers, so there will be plenty of new cards for me here. So we're going to go a little bit slow to begin with, uh, kind of learn the set, figure out what's going on. I love this new blade. It slides back and forth so easy. It's incredible. Look at this. Little little mail day for us. All right, there's our boxes. Dragon Ball, Super Card Game, Vicious Rejuvenation. Each box contains revival, leader, field, or reprint. That's the box promo. Uh, check all this stuff out so that we can just hop right into the booster box vids when they start. Um, nothing new, nothing unique there. The, uh, the new mechanic here is uh, rejuvenation or rejuvenate is I think the actual keyword. And it is a cool new way to add cards back to your life, which um, does you don't see a lot in card games that work with uh, life mechanics. And it basically works by, you're gonna exile cards, like some cards will exile other cards. And then the cards that do the exiling can generally, you know, uh, they can generally interact with the cards they've exiled to then return them to your life. We've got the Goku. Goku's here with us for our journey today. Um, we're very excited to take this journey. Let me straighten this out a little bit. And let's start. Okay, uh, ultimate deck. Oh, here's the premium pack. We're going to start with the deck. What is this card game? Ultimate deck, 51 card silver foil structure deck. And a booster pack. Excellent. Uh, how do I actually open this, though? Um, there's some tape there. So we're going to cut the tape. Because I'm going to assume I can then use this as a deck box, because this is a kind of a nice box that has been very meticulously and carefully designed, it seems. Because I don't even know how to open it, folks. I don't. We could just rip into it, but I... Oh! Looks like we're just going to rip. We're just going to rip. We're just going to rip. It is what it is. There's a pack. Here is our deck. We'll save the pack. Uh... Hold on, let me shift the camera over a little bit. Toa and Meki Kaburo, Dark Conjurers. And this is our leader. It's a dual uh, team-up leader. Treat dark building cards with original energy costs of nine or less in your hand. And non-black battle cards with Xeno in their character names and original energy costs of nine or less. As if they have no specified cost and reduce their energy cost by one. How bizarre. I am excited to see what this deck does. So that's kind of like when you awaken, you, you get a ramp. And then, well, I mean, I don't know what else they're using with why you would want a lower specified cost. That's interesting. So we'll have to see. We will have to see what's going on in this deck. And we're not going to sleeve this deck because that takes a while. And I don't have sleeves for it just yet. So it'll have to get sleeved later. Uh, okay, what else we got? Some basic stuff. Uh, dark Broly cards, you know. Uh, so this is some Dark Broly stuff. Toa's on the front. So that permanent ability lasts even before Awakened. Interesting. Oh my good lord, look at this. Dark Shinron, Tyrannical Savior. This art is awesome. This is some of... This is a top-tier card, folks. Like, this is... I love this. I love this. This is a black, a unison card, no specified cost, can't attack. Uh, choose one Dark Broly card, same thing. In your hand or drop area, and place it at the bottom of your deck. Uh, and draw a card. Okay, interesting. Let's you recycle your big fatties. If your leader card is a Toa and you have four more energy at the start of your main phase, choose up to three non-black battle cards with energy cost three or less, Xeno or Broly, and play them. Okay, so that's why, with energy cost uh, three or less. So I think we're going to have a bunch of ways like that to then cheat out specific Dark Broly or Xeno cards, and we're running two Dark Shin runs. And so, yeah, here's our Dark Broly, Unbridled Destruction, seven, uh, uh, seven specified cost, a red, deflect, unique, EX evolved two, Dark Broly with an energy cost of two or six. Ah, this is interesting. Okay. Card treat is black in all areas. Your opponent's life is at three or more, and there's a card under this card. When this card is played, switch it to active mode, and your opponent 
Wait. Wait. How do I have a card under this card, but this card hasn't been played? Can I have cards under the card in my hand? Oh, man. Oh, man. We're gonna... We're gonna go past Dark Broly. We're gonna come back to him later, because I am lost, folks. I am lost. Uh, Dark Broly. Great foiling. Great foiling, by the way. Haven't really been talking about it, but absolutely beautiful. Dark Broly the Shadow Warrior. <clears throat> Two double red, unique, activate main one. If your leader card is black, your opponent has three or more energy. Add up to one card from your life to your hand. Play up to one Dark Broly card with an energy cost of six or seven from your deck on top of this card in active mode. But then with Toa, don't we consider them all with an energy cost? No, that's not Toa. But with Toa, do, 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 treat Dark Broly cards with original energy cost of nine or less in your hand uh, as if they have no specified cost. So then how does this work? So I guess the specified cost is different from the energy cost. Okay. And I guess the energy cost is like the specified before it's model or it's modified or whatever. Interesting. Janimba, the Shadow Warrior, two double blue. Uh so this is a this is blue, right? You can't really see through the it's blue, yep. This is a blue red deck then. A blue red black deck. Uh Grixis. Fifteen thousand counterattack, negate the attack, then play this card. If you negated a leader card's attack with this skill, your opponent can attack with leader cards for the turn. Interesting. Uh, tech against multi-attack leaders. I really like that art as well. Absolutely beautiful. Janimba just getting annihilated. Freeze of the Shadow Warrior. Uh, green. Okay, so this deck is all over the place with its colors. Unique permanent. When your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, this card can attack your opponent's battle cards in active mode. Auto once per turn if your leader card is a black demon realm race card. Uh, if this attack KOs an opponent or removes a marker from a uni union card, unison card, add up to one card from your life to your hand, uh, and then your opponent discards a card. Cool. Majin Buu, the Shadow Warrior. Uh, he's also green. Unique Barrier. Auto once per turn. When this card is played, look up to seven cards from the top of your deck. Play up to one Dark Broly card with an energy cost of nine or less. Or up to one non-black battle card with Zeno in the character name and an energy cost of nine or less. Then shuffle your deck. That looks pretty powerful. This card is in rest mode. When your opponent attacks a leader card, they choose two cards in their hand and discard them. Interesting. Very interesting. Very aggressive. Yeah, every, this is a five-color deck. Okay, Lord Slug, the Shadow Warrior. Unique blocker, auto one. If your leader card is black, Demon Realm. If your leader card is a black Demon Realm race card, when this card is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill or KO'd, play up to one Lord Slug Xeno card with an energy cost of nine from your deck, then shuffle your deck. Okay. Here we go. Uh, oh, God, I love this art. It's so good. This is... Yeah, this is when the foiling... Is this foiled? This is foiled. Yes, this is foiled. Is this whole deck foiled? It might be. Dark Dragon Balls, zero mana, permanent. Yep, if your leader card's a Black Demon Realm race card, look it up to seven cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one Dark Broly card, non or Xeno, with 16,000 power among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Very cool. Plays back into this. Lord Slug, Unbridled Might. That's what the other Slug is pushing for, and this gives us our green-yellow. Good Lord, Energy Exhaust, a unique... Uh, blocker, EX Evolve 2, draw one card, uh, with an, a Lord Slug, Xeno, with an energy cost of 2, auto once per turn, when this card KOs an opponent's battle card, or activates its blocker skill, switch this card to active mode, cool, when this card is removed from your battle area by an opponent's skill, choose up to one card in your opponent's hand, up to one of their battle cards, place them in their owner's drop area, then choose up to one of your opponent's unison cards and remove two markers from it, also seems pretty powerful, it is a 9 drop, uh, dark power, Black Masked Saiyan, auto, when you attack with this card, you may add one card from your life to your hand. If you do, it gets 10,000 power. When your opponent plays a battle card with 15,000 power or less, using a non-keyword skill, your opponent chooses two cards from the hand and places in the drop area. It's a little bit of hand uh, interaction. Frieza Dark Infest Infestation. Double Strike, unique, auto, if your opponent has three or more energy. When this card is removed from a battle area by skill or KO'd, add up to one green extra card with an energy cost of one or less from your drop area to your hand. Okay. Place this card in its owner's drop area, uh, activate main, choose up to one card in your opponent's hand, and uh, discard it. Cool. Cool. And that's a four of. That's our first four of we've seen. Frieza the Power Monger. Four mana, one green. Deflect unique. Auto if your opponent has three or more energy. When this card is removed from a battle area by a skill or KO, add up to one green extra card with an energy cost of one or less from your drop area to your hand. Activate battle, green, two. This card gets 15,000 battle and double strike. Excellent. Onto some black cards. Let me fix this deck. It's going all over the place. Okay, so this deck is about Dark Broly, uh, and it's about villains mostly. Dark Broly and Xeno cards and Frieza and Slug. And it looks like you're trying to cheat out a lot of them. 
this spoiled? Not really. Because, like, the CMC, the foiling here is on, like, the letters in the CMC. I guess it is foiled. I can barely even tell if this is considered a foil card or if they're just all foiled that way. I think it's a foil card. SS Sun Goku Time Patrol Elite 10,000 Power Super Combo. Otter, if your leader card is black and your life is at four or less, when this card is used in a combo, draw a card. And there's your four Super Combo cards, of course. Uh, Dark Broly, Demon Realm Ravager, uh, Unique, Activate Main, if your leader card is a Dark Broly card, and you send six black battle cards other than this card from your drop area to your warp, play it from your drop area, it doesn't affect us. When this card is played, send up to one battle card from your opponent's drop area to their warp, then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and sends it to their warp. Uh, you can't play copies of this card for the turn. Pretty powerful, 30,000 power and tons of disruption and, on both the battlefield and the hand. Dark Broly, the new Masked Saiyan, unique blocker, activate main. If your leader card is a Dark Broly card, uh, this is, we know can't use this when this card is played. You can't play copies of this card for the turn. 30,000 power. Uh, okay. But we don't have a Dark Broly. We have a Toa and I think it's Mechie Cabrera. Topo, Righteous Aid for uh, one red. 20,000 power, counter attack. Choose one other card in your hand and place it in your drop area. Then negate the attack and play this card. Uh, okay, cool. Permanent. That's pretty powerful, actually. Permanent, if it's your opponent's turn, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. Very cool. Auto, if it's your opponent's turn, when you play this card for the duration of the turn, your opponent can attack unless they choose two cards from their hand and place them into their drop area each time. Why isn't that a super combo? That's a really powerful combo card. Uh, four mana, one red, red, Frieza, Imperial, Inspiration. Auto, when you combo with this card, choose up to one of your leader cards or battle cards and it gains critical for the battle. 20,000 power. That's pretty good. Uh, surprise attack Frieza, 4 mana, 1 green, critical auto. Uh, activate the skill when your opponent's battle card is KO'd. If surprise attack Frieza is not in play in your battle area, you may play this card from your hand. Cool, cool. Uh, now we're on to our extras. That was all of our battle cards. Power burst, 1 black, counter attack. Your leader card is black, negate the attack, then choose up to 1 black battle card from your drop area or warp with an energy cost of 1 and add it to your hand. Uh, the skill takes effect when you have 5 or more cards. It's a sparking 5. You can activate this card's counter skill from your hand by adding a card from your life. Makes sense. Super Kamehameha, one black mana. Counter play. If your leader card is black and your life is at four or less, if the battle card being played has an energy cost of three or less, it's sent to its owner's warp instead of being played. Powerful. Uh, if you have only black cards in your energy and your life is at four or less, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand by adding a card from your life. Very cool. Almost done with the deck. We got four more cards left. Zero drop, one star ball, parasitic darkness. We got some of these. This card gains dark dragon ball in all areas. This is the Frieza one. Choose one Frieza card with an energy cost of four in your battle area and place this card under it. Play up to one green Frieza Xeno card in your deck or hand on top of the chosen card in activate mode, then shuffle your deck. Uh, and last but not least, one mana, protector of the people. Counter attack, negate the attack. Then you may choose one card in your hand and place it in your drop area. You do, If you do, choose one of your leader cards and it gains the following effect for the turn. When this card is attacked by a battle card, it gets 5,000 power for the turn. That's pretty powerful, too. It set, You use that right at the start, and it sets you off for the rest of the turn. So there's no of uh, the actual rejuvenation uh, keyword in here. It looks like going through the deck, we're, we're kind of controlling. We don't really want our opponent to attack that much, and we're trying to get fatties out. We're trying to cheat out as many of these bigger, fatter cards, these Dark Brolies, as possible through our various other things. And I guess, okay, so why you want the Toa ability is it makes these 9 drops cost 6 or less. So then they hit for the 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 uh the special abilities that can actually target them i think that's what's going on i'll have to actually play the deck and probably read through it again uh to truly figure it out but that's what i think is happening here it looks like a pretty cool deck it is it's not mono black but it's like a black red green deck very cool let's open the pack first ever vicious rejuvenation it's a blue pack we got gogeta right right we know how to open these we know how to open these folks, and it involves that. All right, first ever pack. Let's see what we get. Burning Spin, one yellow mana, mana. counter attack. If your leader card is a shadow dragon card, negate it and choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Yoshu, invader of earth, two double green, 15,000 power, super combo. Auto, if your leader card is green and you have a green unison card in play, this card is used in a combo, draw a card, then at the end of the battle, choose up to one of your green unison cards with Rejuvenate in its skill test and place this card under it from its owner's drop area. Okay, cool. So this is how you kind of power Rejuvenate. 
is you thrown this card to your yard to combo, but that ge but that like gets it back to your leader so your leader can use it to rejuvenate. So you don't waste the card and it heals you. Very cool. Very, 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 very cool. We're not going to read through the commons. We will read through the uncommons. One mana red, King Piccolo, Dragon Ball Obsession, 4,000 power. Auto when this card is played, look it up to two cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one red Namekian or Demon Clan card with an energy cost of four or less, or one red Unison card with a specified cost of two among them to your hand, and shuffle your deck. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're going to read this one. Frieza, same stuff, different day. One mana, yellow. Uh, 5,000 combo. 1,000 power. Counterattack. Negate the attack and play this card. Permanent. If your leader card is a yellow Frieza's army card, and this card is face up in your life, you can pay this card's energy cost and activate this card's counter skill from your life. Oh my god, I love this. I love this art. Frieza is stuck in pizza dough, suspended from a ceiling with Valentine's Day cherubs. I don't I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what Akira Toriyama was on about with this, but I love it. I also love this. This I think this is just a shot from the movie, uh, which I mean I'm cool with. Amond, I don't know you. Vegeta, Fusion Synergy. Uh, Paikuhan. You look familiar, Paikuhan. Where are you from? The Janimba Saga. Do I know the Janimba Saga? I don't know. Symbol, Reign of Terror. Hey, Janimba. And what do we have here? Turles, Dark Parasite. A rare, not a... Oh, God, that's good foiling. Um, I've got a list of the, like, the special rares and everything in front of me, but I haven't listed the rare, so I don't know if this is worth anything, but nice foiling. And Dragon Thunder. If you have three or more energy in rest mode, this is one in yellow, you can activate this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. Activate main or battle. If your leader card is a Shadow Dragon card, choose up to one Shadow Dragon card in your leader error area or battle area, and it gets 5,000 power for the turn. You pay the energy cost to activate this skill. Choose up to one card in your opponent's battle area and negate its skills for the turn. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's our starter deck and the accompanying pack. Throw this stuff on the ground. As you would expect me to. I'm sorry I've left it there for so long. Um, and last but not least, the premium pack. B Dragon Ball Super card game, Vicious Rejuvenation premium pack set three. Oh, this is four booster packs and two limited promo cards. This is not what I thought it was. You get the Sin, Sh the Sin Shinron promos. Can I open this? Welcome to HJC Games where Hayden viciously struggles to open all sorts of standard types of packaging. He gets to the point every time where he brings out a knife. Because violence is the only way he knows how to solve his problems. See? Look at that. Look at that. There's violence. There's violence. We tried so hard. We didn't even get that far. And then we gave up for some violence. Okay. So let's find the promos in here first and foremost. Excuse me, camera. They're both in here. They're both in here, uh, right? Yep, they're both in here. Sin Shinron, Achieving Supremacy. Three mana, double yellow, 10,000 power, 5,000 combo. Unique, activate main, this is a battle card. If your leader card is a shadow dragon card and you choose one mono yellow shadow dragon card with an energy cost of two or less in your battle area and return it to its owner's hand, play this card from your hand and you can't activate the activate main skill of copies of this card uh, for the turn. So it's a way to cheat it out. Activate battle once per turn. If it's your turn, choose one shadow dragon card in your hand and discard it to draw a card. Cool, cool. This is a Shadow Dragon kind of support card. You can cheat this out and bounce uh, cards that have ETB effects, or you can use it to pitch useless Shadow cards from your deck. Excellent. Okay, four packs, and then we'll call the video, and I'll start filming a booster box opening, folks. I'm excited. Turles, Crusher Court Commando, Nuvo Shinron, the Pirate Romancer. Oof, looks scary, buddy. Majin Buu, Dimensional Intervention. You know, I moved the lighting a little bit for this, and I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it at all. I'm going to back it up. See if I get less thumb shadows. I do. There we go. Uh, Five-star ball, Parasitic Darkness. Peel off the gangs all here. Kakuja. Well, hello. This card is crazy looking. Shroom and Salsa, Might of the Demon Gods. Very cool. Very clean looking. I, I'm not actually kidding. I like it. What the hell is Janimba? Is I think our big question here. Uh, yeah, don't absorb electricity. That's bad. Uh, is this good? No, this... This is a rare Janimba Dark Parasite. Two foil rares in our pack so far. Pretty good. Temptation of the Mask. 
Not bad. Second pack. Let's get to it. All right. I haven't started watching Super yet. Burning Spin, Vegeta, Catastrophic Premonition, Piccolo Precision Strikes. But I'm like a week away. Son Goku. Oh my god, Veku. Dude, come on. I know Thanksgiving is fun, but you can't. You can't. Like that. I need a soul cleansing machine. Oh, that's for sure. We all need a soul cleansing machine in 2021. Weiss. And Salsa. Hello. Hello. This is, I believe, this is a solid card. This is a $10, $15 card. Four mana double green. Turtles Cosmic Road. This is a special rare. 15,000 power. Uh, 5,000 block. Unique, deflect, and critical. If you have three or more Turtles Crusher Corpse cards in your battle area and have three or more energy, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two. During your turn, all Turtles Crusher Core cards in your battle area get 10,000 power. And when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. This card seems pretty powerful. It, it looks really good. I'm a huge, I love this art. Just this Akira art right here is excellent. These clouds and everything, but the foiling is also really good in person. It's got that, I mean, it's got that really cool special rare golden foiling. That's really sort of next level. I love that stuff. It's so good. It's a beautiful set so far. So yeah, no super just yet. Still finishing up FLCL. I uh, finished up alternative, decided I'd go to whatever the hell the next one is called. I've totally forgotten by now. Shisami. He's based, he's named after sushi. Poor guy. Poor guy. But I'm excited to get into Super, especially because of all of this. We've got so many box openings, so much stuff coming. Uh, Yoshu, Vader of Earth. We saw him in our starter deck. Good to see you back, buddy. And Fruit of the Tree of Might. We're familiar with this from the movie. This does not go well for Turtles. Goku shows up. You don't want Goku to show up. That's rule number one. If you are a, if you are a Dragon Ball villain, you have one rule. Don't get Goku on your case. Do whatever you can so Goku doesn't know about you. Because look at this guy. He's, he's a heavy hitter. He's a, he's a fucking heavy hitter. Like, I see, this is, this is your problem. If you're meddling in dimensions, Deborah, Goku's going to know, and he's going to find you, and he's going to kick your butt, dude. You can't do that. Kill driver. Mm, mm, a little serious. Uh, all right. And last pack. Anything good. Frieza trained at last. This is a rare. So three foil rares. Solid. Frieza. I like this art too. I really like how the, um, just the energy ball and the lightning and everything kind of overtakes the top of the frame. Very cool. The leader card is a yellow Frieza's army card and all of your energy is mono yellow. When, uh, when this face up card, wait, when this face up card in your life is placed in your drop area, play this card from your drop area. Okay. If your leader card is a yellow Frieza's army card, and you place one face-up card from your life in your drop area, when your opponent plays a battle card, you may choose that card and switch it to rest mode. If you do, draw a card, then negate the skill for the rest of your turn. Ginyu, one last body change. Is that what Ginyu really looks like? He's just an old man. He's an old, frail, shapeshifter man. He's been running from body to body for a while. I think there's a movie about that. I want to say it has John Malkovich in it, but I don't know why I want to say that. It probably doesn't. I don't even know what movie I'm talking about or I could be thinking about. But I swear there's a movie where that's the plot. There it is, folks. First ever Vicious Rejuvenation. This is a longer video than I expected it to be because we just went through that entire starter deck and I really kind of wanted to read the mechanics. Uh, especially because when it comes to the booster boxes, we're going to be tearing through the cards. Just going straight through them. Looking for the good stuff. Looking for the fun. And I will sort out the mechanics later on my end. So I'll go ahead and I will plug right about here. Here, here, yep, yeah, here. Uh, the booster box video. One more time. Again, if you want to buy these cards and even more, head over to hjc.cards. Uh, they take you to our TCG player. It's a great way to support us and get all the cool stuff you see me open on the channel. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, folks. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll talk to you soon in the next video. If I don't, have a good night and be good to one another.